If you need a champion that does a really good job at keeping your team alive in clan boss, then go with Nizana. Here's a few screenshots with Nizana on the team. Hi YouTube, this is Yasuo here. So let's get right to talking about Nizana. First off, what can she bring to the team? So let's go over her kit real quick. On her A1, she attacks all enemies. So against the clan boss, we don't really care about this ability here. Mainly it's because it's a damage dealer. The Zana doesn't hit hard at all. So let's go right to her A2. On her A2, she puts up an ally protection on everyone on your team except for herself. And then she places a shield on herself equal to 40% of her HP for the two turns that the ally protection is up. So because she will be absorbing damage from the ally protection, then that damage will be hitting her shield instead of her HP. And it's going to let her survive for a very long period of time. Her A3 attacks all enemies and has a 50% chance of placing a 50% decrease attack for two turns. If you book this up, it does go down to a 3 turn cooldown, and that does become a 75% chance of placing that decrease attack debuff. And for her aura, we don't use that in clan boss. Alright, so let's take a look at the gears here. So for Nizana's artifact set, I went with the lifesteal and accuracy set. The lifestyle is there so that she can help herself recover back her life and that the accuracy set is to help her land that decrease attack debuff. For the gauntlet, I went with defensive percentage. The chest plate is also defensive percentage. And the boots are HP percentage. Alright, and now let's take a look at the accessories. The ring is defense. The necklace is defense. And then the banner is accuracy. And let's take a look at her stats here. So I have her at almost 55k HP, almost 3.9k defense, 173 speed, 54% critical rate, 119% critical damage, and we could ignore the resistance. And for the accuracy, we have her at 241. So what I did here is I built her with high HP and as high of a defense stat as possible while having that high HP. We want high HP on her because her A2 gives her a shield and that shield is 40% of her HP total. So right now she gets about a 22k shield for absorbing the ally protection damage. And now let's go and look at the masteries that I have on Dazana. I have her in the offense and defensive mastery. So on the offense tree, I went with War Master, and War Master is just so important in Clan Boss, especially in Lifesteal Gears. Every time that the War Master procs the extra damage, then that's a huge chunk of HP that your champion is also gaining back. For the defensive masteries, I went with both the counter attack masteries. So now, let's see her in action in Clan Boss. What I'm doing right now is that I'm setting up my team's rotation so that I can click on auto and have my champions do their thing. So what I want Azana to do is that every time on auto, right before the clan boss's second AoE attack, then I want Nazana to put up her ally protection. This way she tanks the second AoE. Remember, her A2 also puts up a shield on herself. So she's going to be able to absorb a lot of that ally protection damage. In this team, we will have Skullcrusher set up the counter attack and ally protection to tank the clan boss's first AoE. Skullcrusher is a great tank for tanking that first AoE because he won't die due to the one turn of that unkillable buff. Then after the first AoE, Skullcrusher will lose that unkillable and then Azana will use her ally protection which she protects Skullcrusher for the second EOE because Skullcrusher loses that unkillable.
let's observe this next attack cycle together. So here we have Sepulchre put up the block debuff, which blocks the stun. And now we have Skullcrusher setting up counter attack and ally protection. And before the second AoE attack, we'll have Nizana put up her ally protection, and then let's watch the damage go to her shield. And we see that damage in blue. So what Nazana does really well at is keeping your team alive. She actually pairs extremely well with Skullcrusher because in the later round Skullcrusher gets very vulnerable after the unkillable buff falls off of him. And having Nazana on the team to protect Skullcrusher when his unkillable falls off will keep Skullcrusher alive much longer. It's very important to keep your ally protection champions alive because once they die in the later rounds, then most likely your team will get wiped out very soon after. And that's what Nazana is in the team for. And that is to help keep your team alive. Alright, I'm going to put this battle on double speed. And that's all I have for today. If you like this video, then please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments for me, then please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you.